Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The program will begin in approximately five minutes. Good evening. It's certainly a pleasure to be with you tonight for this special ceremony. I'm Bob Dumas, member of the Auburn University Board of Trustees. I'm honored to join you as we host our fifth annual recognition ceremony for faculty who are newly appointed or reappointed to an endowed professorship, chair, or eminent scholar. It is always an honor to be in the presence of so many of our faculty who are living embodiments of Auburn's mission through your work to advance teaching, research, and selfless service to our communities and our state. Many of you have heard me say this, but as an Auburn alumnus, the son of an Auburn professor, and a husband and parent of two Auburn graduates, there has never been a time in my life that has not, in some way, been impacted by Auburn faculty. My father was a faculty member in agricultural engineering here at Auburn. Were it not for his experience, I would have never seen firsthand how hard Auburn faculty work across the many roles you play. While many of our students are used to seeing you in the classroom or perhaps during office hours, many don't see the evenings, days, and weekends you invest in your research or the personal time that you give to our communities through your extension and outreach. 
all to ensure that our academic community remains at the forefront of discovery, innovation, and service. While there will never be a single accolade that encompasses our faculty's extensive contributions, the opportunity to bestow endowed titles is a small way of demonstrating to the world that life-changing work is occurring daily on our campus. With these endowments, you are able to support new projects, collaborate on your research, and fund the next generation of student scholars by engaging them in your work. Endowments, in turn, allow our donors to demonstrate the extent to which they believe in the capacity of Auburn faculty. They understand that for Auburn to remain a world leader, we must attract and retain the best faculty if we are to put our knowledge into action to foster change. As we recognize our faculty tonight, we also acknowledge those alumni and friends of the university who established these endowments. Their faith in our Auburn community continuously contributes to our success. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I thank you all for your incredible work that you do on behalf of our institution. War Eagle, and next, I invite our president, Dr. Chris Roberts, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Dumas. Good evening, and War Eagle. It's truly an honor to be with you all tonight to help recognize so many of our amazing colleagues. This is, this is an outstanding group of people. And for the endowments and the work that they do to have earned those endowments, as Trustee Dumas said, in order to advance our mission, Auburn has more than 300 endowed opportunities that are either in place or being funded. And when we created this special event a few years ago, we did so to acknowledge the importance and the significance of endowed titles to our faculty and to our institution. I've always in viewed endowed positions as important for two different reasons. First, we know that endowed titles bring recognition to our faculty and our colleges and our university. And in higher education, holding an endowed title is one of the highest honors a faculty member can achieve and symbolizes excellence. Second, and more importantly, an endowed position affords our faculty funding to advance their research by supporting projects, funding students who give us critical support in their laboratory or classroom, and allow us the opportunity to travel so that we may share our discoveries and collaborate and advance our scholarly work so that it can have its maximal impact. This year, 31 distinguished faculty members have earned the honor and prestige accompanying these endowed titles. And as I look at this group of colleagues, you all represent the very best of the academy. And you do this by elevating scholarly rigor inside and outside of your departments. And in addition to teaching and research, you also serve as a vital resource to our communities, industry, and our alumni and through these efforts, you're inevitably raising the profile of Auburn and strengthening our impact. To commemorate your newly endowed or reappointed title, you and your dean will join me at the front of the stage to receive an engraved medallion. And I hope you'll wear it with your graduation regalia or perhaps proudly display it in your office. I suppose some of you might try to mow the lawn with it or wear it to yoga, that's up to you. <laughs> but I think this is a really wonderful ceremony and a great testament, that symbolism at graduation, knowing that you've been recognized in this way, I think is uh, a very, very important recognition of just how proud we are of all of you. To help us this evening, we've asked Rick Smith, a senior lecturer and internship director in the School of Communication and Journalism to serve as our MC. I'm sure many of you will recognize Rick's voice as the Jordan-Hare Stadium announcer, as well as the announcer for the SEC football championship and the SEC baseball tournament. Probably the most exciting way our students meet Rick is when he calls their names at graduation. Rick has been a member of Auburn's faculty for more than 30 years, and in addition to his announcing responsibilities, 
that teaches various courses in sports media. I ask Rick to please join me to present our first group of faculty members. Rick. Thank you. Good evening. It's my honor to help recognize so many of our outstanding colleagues. As President Roberts mentioned, 31 faculty members were appointed or reappointed to endow titles this year, including a few from prior years who were not able to join us then. As I call your name, please come to the stage to receive your medallion from President Roberts and your dean. We begin our program with our newly appointed alumni professors. I invite Kurt Sasser, from Auburn Advancement to join President Roberts. Kurt was appointed Chief Engagement Officer and Director of the Auburn Alumni Association earlier this year. For those of you who don't know him, Kurt is a two-time Harvard College of Business graduate and former SGA president. As an alumnus who credits much of his success to his Auburn experience, Kurt now recognizes our faculty's role in supporting our students through the presentation of the Alumni Association's prestigious alumni professorships. Awarded to five new faculty members each year, the alumni professorships honor those faculty who guide and support our students while advancing Auburn's reputation for future generations of alumni. All five of our alumni professors are with us this evening. Dr. Dennis Bodowitz is an atomic, molecular, and optical physics professor in the College of Sciences and Mathematics Physics Department. A faculty member at Auburn for five years, Dr. Bodowitz is a highly respected researcher known for his work in atomic, molecular, and optical physics associated with comets and cometary atmospheres. With a research lab that explores the activity and evolution of comets and asteroids, Dr. Bodowitz has generated nearly two and a half million dollars in extramural funding over the past four years. His publications include articles in highly regarded peer-reviewed journals, and he is the author or co-author of 154 referee journal articles, including 39 as the lead or corresponding author. As a mentor to students, Dr. Bodowitz and his Comet Research Group have successfully secured observation time on major telescopes on the ground and in space, including Hubble, James Webb, Swift, and the forthcoming Ultrasat. Through their observations using the James Webb Space Telescope, the group identified water near an asteroid, uncovering a previously unknown water reservoir in our solar system. Congratulations, Dr. Bodowitz. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Ditchkoff is the William R. and Faye Ireland Distinguished Professor of Wildlife Ecology, Management, and Nutrition in the College of Forestry, Wildlife, and Environment. A faculty member for 23 years, Dr. Ditchkoff's research and teaching promote comprehensive programs that impact multiple areas of wildlife management and conservation, resulting in enhanced experiences for students in the classroom and the field. A foremost authority in white-tailed deer and wild pig ecology and management, Dr. Ditchkoff has published 108 refereed publications, seven book chapters, an edited book, and has secured more than $8 million in extramural funding as a PI or co-PI. In addition to his research, he is well known through his popular articles and is routinely invited to speak at national and international conferences. Through his work with graduate students and research staff, Dr. Ditchkoff has made 141 presentations at regional, national, and international conferences and has graduated 27 masters and doctoral students from his lab with another seven students currently conducting research. The quality of his instruction is also reflected in the awards he has received from students. In 2019, he was named the outstanding faculty member for the college by the Student Government Association. And he was awarded Teacher of the Year by the Student Chapter of the Wildlife Society in 2003, 2011, and 2013. Congratulations, Dr. Ditchkoff. Dr. Margaret Flores is a professor in the Department of Special Education, Rehabilitation, and Counseling in the College of Education. A faculty member for 15 years, Dr. Flores' teaching and scholarly work focus on mathematics education, specifically evaluating interventions with students in school settings. 
particularly those students who struggle in mathematics. With a passion for outreach and service, Dr. Flory's research is critical to developing evidence-based practices among vulnerable and underserved children across our state. She has authored two textbooks, 77 peer-reviewed publications, five book chapters, and four instructional manuals, and has generated more than $6 million in external grants and contracts. Her national reputation as a scholar includes service to the National Research Council for Learning Disabilities and the Journal of American Special Education Professionals. She also serves as a principal mathematics and science panel member for Education Science, a significant honor and a research area that addresses critical places of need in math and special education. In addition, she has taught 19 different courses at Auburn while chairing numerous dissertations and serving as the director of the special education program. Congratulations, Dr. Flory. Dr. Freddie Lowell is the McFarland Endowed Distinguished Professor and Director of the NSV Cave 3 Electronics Research Center in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering. With an impressive track record in additive printed electronics for harsh environment operations, Dr. Lowell is a world-renowned researcher who has co-authored or authored two books, 15 book chapters, and over 900 journal and conference papers in the field of electronics reliability, manufacturing, safety, testing, energy efficiency, and survivability. A fellow of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, the Next Flex National Manufacturing Institute, and the Alabama Academy of Science, Dr. Law's achievements include leading the response for the proposal team that established the Next Flex Manufacturing Institute, allowing Auburn to become the Tier 1 founding member. Through his leadership of the K3 Electronics Research Center, the organization has become the preeminent center for the design of electronics for operation in harsh environments. His research is supported by the U.S. Army, the U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, and he has also won several research grants from the Semiconductor Research Corporation, among others. Congratulations, Dr. Law. Our final alumni professor is Dr. Michael Roberts, a professor in the School of Kinesiology and the College of Education. During his 10 years at Auburn, Dr. Roberts has amassed a substantial body of scholarly work, establishing a laboratory that has become a globally known center for research in skeletal muscle physiology, exploring the molecular basis of resistance exercise training and the effects of dietary supplements on health, exercise, and disease Dr. Roberts employs various experimental models and, as a result, has authored 193 peer-reviewed articles, 11 book chapters, and given more than 300 abstract presentations at regional, national, and international conferences. His efforts to regularly engage students in his teaching and research consistently yield excellent student evaluations, and his activities have advanced graduate education within the school resulting in his graduating his 14th doctoral student earlier this year. In addition to publishing a comprehensive review of the mechanisms that govern skeletal muscle hypertrophy, a high-impact scientific journal this year, Dr. Roberts' laboratory received a substantial three-year contribution from an industry partner to support student dissertations. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Roberts and our other new alumni professors. We have three faculty members from the College of Architecture, Design, and Construction with us. Would Interim Dean Karen Rogers please join President Roberts? Established in 1999 by Nashville architect and Auburn alumnus Beatty Gresham and his wife Ann, also an alumnus, the Ann and Beatty Gresham professorship was the first established for faculty in the School of Architecture, Planning, and Landscape Architecture. Following his graduation from Auburn, Beatty Gresham served in the United States Army Corps of Engineers 
serving for eight years before being honorably discharged with the rank of captain. He then went on to become a founding partner in the accomplished international design firm of Gresham Smith and Partners in Nashville. Mr. Gresham was a member of the Auburn Alumni Board of Directors and served on the Auburn University Engineering Council, the Architecture Advisory Board, the Auburn University Foundation Board, and the Museum of Art Advisory Board. He was recognized by the Auburn Alumni Association in 2005 with a Lifetime Achievement Award, the association's highest honor. The Ann and Beatty Gresham Professorship supports outstanding faculty who demonstrate a strong commitment to quality instruction, research, and service, and whose work strengthens and enhances the architecture program. This year's recipient is Dr. Carla Kivanian. An avid researcher in Roman architecture, Dr. Kivanian is the author of several books focused on architecture and the role of architects in Renaissance Italy. With a reputation for teaching impactful courses, including several honors courses in architecture and design, Dr. Kivanian gives her students the tools to think, write, design, and communicate critically. Her work has garnered the support of several funding agencies, including the National Gallery of Art and the National Endowment for the Humanities. With a professorship, Dr. Kivanian plans to travel abroad to conduct archival research for her current book on the history, humanism, and architecture of Renaissance Rome. As part of her work, she will complete research on buildings and other historic locations to advance her field of study and courses at Auburn. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Kivanian. The Ulm Endowed Professorship is named in honor of the Ulm School of Design, widely considered one of the industry's most influential schools due to its emphasis on integrating sociology, psychology, politics, economics, philosophy, and systems thinking. This year's Ulm professor is Rusty Lay, Associate Professor and Undergraduate Program Chair in the School of Industrial and Graphic Design. A faculty member at Auburn for eight years, Professor Lay brings more than 12 years of experience in corporate industrial design and effectively integrates his engineering background into his teaching and research. In addition to developing curricular processes that blend holistic design with emerging technologies, Professor Lay's current research focuses on developing small-scale food production systems to support individual, family, and community resilience programs. Through his work, he is developing small-scale food production systems to promote food independence for families in Alabama and beyond who currently live in food deserts or areas where fresh food is scarce. Please join me in congratulating Professor Lay. The Bauhaus professor in the School of Industrial and Graphic Design is named in honor of the Bauhaus, a German art school from 1919 to 1933 that combined crafts and the fine arts. Bauhaus is German for building house, and the school became famous for its approach to design and its ability to unify the principles of mass production with individual artistic vision, combining aesthetics with everyday function. The Bauhaus movement had a profound influence on sub subsequent developments in art, architecture, graphic design, interior design, industrial design, and typography. This year's recipient is Xu Wen Zhang. A faculty member at Auburn for 15 years, Professor Zhang is widely recognized for her contributions to the field of industrial design and for her ability to approach projects as a full life cycle designer. Among her many achievements this year, Professor Zhang worked to prepare and submit her materials to be promoted to full professor while undergoing cancer treatments. During this time, Professor Zhang maintained an active research and teaching portfolio and continued to present her work to both internal and external reviewers. As a result of her efforts, she was successfully promoted to full professor. Please join me in congratulating Professor Zhang. We have one faculty member from the Harvard College of Business with us today. Would Interim Dean Jennifer Mueller Phillips please join President Roberts.
Dr. Michelle Zorn is this year's Harvard College of Business Dean's Fellow. An associate professor in the Department of Management and Entrepreneurship for nine years, Dr. Zorn's research areas include corporate governance, emphasizing the restaurant industry, franchises, CEO compensation, and competitive dynamics. In addition to teaching courses at the graduate and executive levels, Dr. Zorn's scholarly work has been featured in publications that include the Journal of Management, Strategic Management, Business Ethics, and Business Research in addition to presenting her research at national and international conferences. Congratulations, Dr. Zorn. <laughs> Would Jared Russell, Associate Dean for Academic and Faculty Affairs, please join President Roberts. We have one faculty member from the College of Education who is receiving the Wayne T. Smith Endowed Distinguished Professor in the School of Kinesiology. A two-time College of Education graduate, Wayne Smith is the former chairman of Tennessee's Board of Directors of Community Health Systems. Known as an entrepreneurial and visionary leader in the healthcare industry, Mr. Smith has garnered professional recognition from his peers, investors, and the business community. In 2013, he was appointed to the Auburn University Board of Trustees as an at-large representative. He and his wife, Cheryl, also a proud education graduate, are devoted supporters of both the college and the university. Dr. Andreas Cavazas has been a faculty member in the School of Kinesiology for 11 years. With a joint appointment in the Department of Biological Sciences, his research interests include the study of mitochondria in health and disease. In addition to teaching courses in skeletal and cardiac muscle physiology, Dr. Cavazas is often recognized for his mentorship of students and his commitment to graduate education. Continuously promoting the successes of his students over his own, Dr. Cavazas cited two of his doctoral students who received the National Strength and Conditioning Association Foundation grant and an American Speech Language Hearing Foundation New Century Scholars Doctoral Scholarship among his proudest professional accomplishments in the year. Congratulations, Dr. Cavazas. <laughs> Would Dean Mario Eden please join President Roberts to recognize our faculty from the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering. Five prestigious Bright D and Patricia M. Godbold professorships are presented to faculty this year, four of whom are with us tonight. Honoring the vision of 1936 electrical engineering graduate and prominent business leader Bright Godbold, a member of the Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame, Mr. Godbold was widely credited with transforming the city of Dallas, Texas through expansions and innovations in its economy, healthcare, transportation, architecture, government, recreation, and culture. The professorships were created to support faculty who share his philosophy of advancing engineering and public service, aligning with the Auburn Creed. Our first Godbold professorship is presented to Dr. Mark Adams, a faculty member in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Dr. Adams' research focuses on the integration of microelectromechanical systems microelectronics, applied electromagnetics, and photonics for biological, environmental, and defense applications. As founder of the Storm Lab, Dr. Adams' research team has established an on-campus capability for the design, manufacturing, and testing of small satellites, three of which will be launched into space next year. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Adams. Dr. Maria Awad holds the Charles E. Gavin Distinguished Professorship.
established through a gift from Charles E. Gavin III and his family. The professorship honors Mr. Gavin's contributions to the field of textile engineering and his efforts to transform the textile industry across the Southeast. A member of the Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame, Mr. Gavin pioneered carpet dye technology and is responsible for many innovations in the textile industry, including developing the first acid dyed carpet lines. An Associate Dean for Graduate Studies and Faculty Development, Dr. Awad supports the college through various programs and initiatives, helping shape its strategic vision and advance graduate studies and faculty success. In addition to fostering a culture of research and innovation among graduate students, Dr. Awad has initiated several innovative programs to cultivate continuous learning and growth among faculty. As a researcher, she investigates novel polymeric materials with unusual but desirable properties. These efforts have enabled her and her research group to develop systems for potential applications in various disciplines, including medicine, advanced materials for defense, aviation, transportation, and sustainability. Please congratulate Dr. Awad. This year's Allen and Martha Reed Endowed Professorship is awarded to Dr. Lauren Beckingham from the Department of Civil and Envi Environmental Engineering. Made possible through a gift from Mr. W. Allen Reed, a 1970 alumnus in aviation management, Mr. Reed's distinguished career includes serving as chairman and CEO of General Motors Asset Management and General Motors Trust Bank. A 2021 recipient of the Auburn Alumni Association's Lifetime Achievement Award, Allen and his wife Martha have established professorships in the colleges of engineering, business, and human sciences. A faculty member at Auburn for seven years, Dr. Beckingham's research as an environmental engineer has enabled her to advance expertise and interest in water rock interactions and flow path modifications. Through her engagement with undergraduate, graduate, and postdoctoral students, Dr. Beckingham has contributed new knowledge to evaluate potential geologic CO2 sequestration sites in the Southeast, which has transformed our understanding of mineral reactions in environmental systems. In addition to several new publications featuring her students' work, she credits the successful dissertation defense of three of her doctoral students among her many successes this past year. Congratulations, Dr. Beckingham. Dr. Shouwen Gong holds our second Godbo professorship. A member of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering for six years, Dr. Gong's research focuses on machine learning and AI in wireless networks, edge computing, and network security. With an emphasis on advancing emerging computation intensive and delay sensitive applications of wireless and mobile devices, Dr. Gong's work supports efforts to make wireless networks more intelligent, advancing communication and improving lives. Along with four collaborators, Dr. Gong received the Best Paper Runner-Up Award from the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Internet of Things Journal and earned a National Science Foundation Early Faculty Career Development Award in 2022. He published two papers with his students in top conferences this year including the IEEE International Conference on Computer Communications and the ACM International Symposium on Mobile Ad Hoc Networking and Computing. Dr. Gong also received promotion and tenure this year. Congratulations, Dr. Gong. <laughs> Dr. Yuji Wall-Guin, currently holds our next God Bowl professorship. A member of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering since 2016, Dr. Guin's research focuses on identifying compromised electronics that impact our national security. He has developed several on-chip structures and techniques to improve integrated circuit security, trustworthiness, and reliability through his research engagement with projects in hardware security and trust, supply chain security, cybersecurity, 
and VLSI design and test. In addition to a book, he has authored several book chapters, journal articles, and refereed conference papers while also teaching courses in digital system design and hardware security. His work to develop skilled manpower and research to address critical security threats is sponsored by the U.S. Secret Service, the National Science Foundation, and the Air Force Research Laboratory, among others. Dr. Ewan also received promotion and tenure this year. Congratulations, Dr. Ewan. Our final God Bowl professorship is held by Dr. Yin Sun, also a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Also a, a recipient of an NSF Early Faculty Development Career Award, Dr. Sun's work focuses on developing innovative approaches for real-time inference, monitoring, and decision-making systems. With an emphasis on delivering impactful teaching, serving society, and building a better future, Dr. Sun's research outcomes have the potential to make a substantial impact across a wide range of applications. Aiming to develop innovative wireless communication techniques to deliver critical information precisely when it is most needed, Dr. Sun's efforts to enhance the performance of real-time systems have garnered him several accolades, including the winner of the 2021 Journal of Communications and Networks Best Paper Award. He was also named the Ginn Faculty Achievement Fellow earlier this year. In addition to his achievements, Dr. Sun also received promotion and tenure this year. Congratulations, Dr. Sun. Our concluding Samuel Ginn College of Engineering faculty member is Dr. Michael Zabala, who holds the Auburn Alumni Engineering Council Endowed Professorship. Created by a group of Auburn engineering alumni who work to advance the vision and goals of the college, the professorship supports teaching and research programs of high achieving faculty. A faculty member in the Department of Mechanical Engineering for seven years, Dr. Zabala is the director of the Biomechanical Engineering Laboratory where his research focuses on human performance and injury prevention, including developing solutions to complex biomechanical problems in fields such as ACL injury prevention, exoskeleton technology, prosthetics, and orthotics. Much of his research aligns with the work done in his Auburn-affiliated company founded from his lab, Exo Armor, which recently received a Series A round of fundraising. In addition to achieving promotion and tenure this year, Dr. Zabala also graduated two doctoral students from his lab, one of who became employed full-time at Exo Armor. Congratulations, Dr. Zabala. <laughs> With Dean Janaki Alabalapati, please join President Roberts. We have two faculty members from the College of Forestry, Wildlife, and Environment, beginning with the Dwayne G. Luce Family Endowed Professorship in Forestry. Established in 1996 by the Luce family to honor Mr. Dwayne Luce, a 1938 API chemical engineering graduate and Army veteran who made considerable contributions to the state's timberland industry. Presented to Dr. Heather Alexander, the professorship recognizes her efforts to train the next generation of forest and natural resource managers while pursuing critical forest and fire ecology research. Dr. Alexander's work with scientists and managers addresses timely and important questions related to the role of forest and climate mitigation. By establishing long-term research sites on federal, state, and private lands across the Southeast, Dr. Alexander and her group are advancing our understanding of how forests sequester carbon when managed with prescribed fire. This past year, she was awarded the Harold E. Christian Teaching Award in the college and successfully mentored 10 graduate students while graduating several students this summer. Join me in congratulating Dr. Alexander. Our second faculty member is Dr. Lee Ann, who holds the Salon and Martha Dixon Endowed Professorship in the College of Forestry, Wildlife, and Environment. 
established with a gift from the Dixon family. The professorship honors Salon Dixon, a 1926 Auburn mechanical engineering graduate who helped pioneer Alabama's forestry industry. His combined love of natural resources, Auburn, and supporting the education of young people created a vision that became reality in 1978 when Salon and his wife Martha donated 5,350 acres and funds to create the Salon Dixon Forestry Education Center near Andalusia. In addition to teaching courses in landscape ecology, spatial modeling, and simulation and geographical information science, Dr. Ann has advanced several research areas, including environmental data science, complex human environment system science, landscape ecology, and geographic information science. His contributions to agent-based modeling and space-time analysis have improved our ability to model human environment processes, specifically land use change. As a result of his scholarly work, Dr. Ann was elected as a fellow of the American Association of Geographers and was selected to receive the 2023 Distinguished Scholarship Honors from the American Association of Geographers. Congratulations, Dr. Ann. Would Dr. Susan Hubbard, Dean of the College of Human Sciences, please join President Roberts to recognize our next faculty members. The W. Allen and Martha Raymer Reed Endowed Professorship in the College of Human Sciences was established with a gift from the Reed family. The professorship recognizes the contributions of Martha Raymer Reed, a 1969 Auburn Br Business Administration alumna and 2000 New York Interior Design School graduate. The Reeds established this professorship to honor the education and experiences they received as students. As a professor of interior design and coordinator for the interior design program, Dr. Melanie Duffy effectively blends her passion for linking classroom instruction to professional practice through real world design projects and industry partnerships. With a teaching emphasis on residential and hospitality design, Dr. Duffy's scholarly interests include users' perceptions of contemporary public space. This work has led to advanced research in various public spaces to examine how they have evolved and serve society as new technologies emerge. As the Reed Professor, Dr. Duffy plans to pursue professional development programs and certifications that will yield new networks with peer institutions across the country and strengthen her capacity to mentor undergraduate and graduate students. An example of her efforts to develop her students occurred this past year when she graduated a master's student who was offered a position at the number one architecture and design office in the country. Congratulations, Dr. Duffy. <laughs> Dr. Ann Beth Presley, holds the Mike and Leanne Rowe Endowed Professorship in the College of Human Sciences. Passionate supporters of Auburn, the professorship was established with a gift from Mike and Leanne Rowe. Both 1978 Auburn alums, Mike and Leanne Rowe met while students at Auburn before embarking on a successful family business that blended their shared knowledge in agriculture, business, and communication. As generous supporters of the College of Agriculture, and the College of Human Sciences. The Rose contribute to various annual giving programs, including endowed professorships in both colleges to recognize faculty who demonstrate a commitment to students, quality instruction, research, and service. Sharing in the Rose passion for investing in students and giving them impactful life experiences, Dr. Ann Beth Presley is a long admired faculty member in the Department of Consumer and Design Sciences. Her innovative teaching approaches often result from her professional experiences working with international retailers. Understanding how classroom instruction can and should be complemented through opportunities abroad, Dr. Presley's efforts to expand her students' college experience have enabled her to expose them to other countries and cultures, giving them unparalleled life and professional skills. With a commitment to teaching students to navigate in a culture other than their own, Dr. Presley embodies the Rose philosophy that immersive life experiences can translate to increased self-confidence and improved academic performance. 
Congratulations, Dr. Presley. Would Dean Jason Hicks please join President Roberts? We have several faculty members from the College of Liberal Arts with us, beginning with a Holyfield Professor of English presented to Dr. Craig Bertolette. The endowment was created in 1963 to honor Molly Holyfield Jones, a 1902 graduate of Alabama Polytechnic Institute, designed to support creative writing in Southern history and teaching and research in English literature the Holyfield Professorship is one of the oldest in the college. A faculty member for nearly 30 years, Dr. Bertolette's scholarly work focuses on medieval literature, including the origins of English, rhetoric, and historical commerce practices. His teaching includes courses on medieval literature, particularly Chaucer, English comedy, and course surveys in early British literature, where he integrates discussion with socioeconomic and historical background. Always incorporating his research into the classroom, Dr. Bertolette's current work focuses on three projects, including an edited collection of 40 chapters on various topics that seek to place the poet Chaucer in a global context and two monographs on late medieval English text. Congratulations, Dr. Bertolette. Dr. James Birdsong holds the first of two Delta Airlines professorships in the School of Aviation. Established with gifts from the Delta Airlines and Jacobson Family Foundations, the endowment supports multiple programs in the school, home to one of the longest standing public flight programs in the country. As chair of the Aviation Management Program and a faculty member at Auburn for 13 years, Dr. Birdsong oversees the school's teaching, research, and outreach functions, strengthening its 100-year-old reputation for educating future aviation professionals. Bringing more than 20 years of service in the U.S. Air Force as a command C-130 pilot, academic instructor, and squadron operations officer to the classroom, Dr. Birdsong teaches junior and senior level aviation economics and global aviation courses. Is Auburn's principal investigator for the FAA's Technical Training and Human Performance Center of Excellence, Dr. Birdsong has overseen nearly $1 million in interdisciplinary aviation research grants. Earlier this year, the school was ranked second in the nation based on its peer reputation, unique programs, student opportunities, career connections, and graduate outcomes, much of which is attributed to Dr. Birdsong's leadership. Congratulations, Dr. Birdsong. The Hargis Professor of Writing Studies is presented to Dr. Derek Ross, a professor in the Department of English. With more than 13 years at Auburn, Dr. Ross's creative and scholarly work focuses on the perceptions of environmental rhetoric, ethics, and document design. In addition to teaching courses in the Master of Technical and Professional Communication program, Dr. Ross is the co-editor of the State University of New York Studies and Technical Communication Series and is co-director of Auburn's Lab for Usability, Communication, Interaction, and Accessibility. With an, emphasis <clears throat> with an emphasis on engaging students in his research, Dr. Ross has recently completed work on the second edition of a document design textbook. Earlier this year, he signed a contract to complete a publication that brings together more than 50 authors at all levels in writing studies to create a hallmark on ethics for future generations of students. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Ross. <laughs> Our second Delta Airlines professor is Dr. Jim Woody, professor of aviation management and director of the School of Aviation. A faculty member for 24 years, Dr. Witte has been a consistent fixture in Auburn's renowned aviation program. 
incorporating more than 60 years of experience in military and civilian rotor wing and fixed wing aircraft into his teaching and leadership. Dr. Whitty holds an airframe mechanic certificate and is an FAA certified drone pilot. With an emphasis on student training and development, Dr. Whitty has worked tirelessly to build partnerships with various airline and aviation organizations to ensure Auburn graduates are effectively prepared for and strategically placed into key leadership positions. Among his many professional achievements, he considers receiving the prestigious Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award this year among his greatest professional accomplishments, in addition to reaching the highest student enrollment in the history of the School of Aviation. Congratulations, Dr. Whitty. <laughs> We have two faculty members from the Harrison College of Pharmacy. Would Dr. Karen Marlowe, Associate Dean for Academic Programs, please join President Roberts. This year's George F. Gelliland Professorship is presented to Angela Calderon from the Department of Drug Discovery and Development. Her contributions to the field of pharmacognosy include advances in the study of natural drug product research, specifically botanical dietary supplements. With funding from the National Institutes of Health to study botanical drug interactions to ensure the safe and rational use of botanicals and conventional drugs, Dr. Calderon's research has resulted in more than 50 publications, five book chapters, and one U.S. patent. However, her greatest passion is mentoring students and preparing the next generation of pharmacists and researchers. As one of the first female faculty promoted to the rank of full professor in her department, Dr. Calderon maintains an important connection to mentoring students from underrepresented groups. In addition to receiving the 2023 Female Scientist Pharmacist Research Excellence Award from the Panamanian Pharmacist Association this year, also saw one of Dr. Calderon's mentees, Cabre Heck, become the first student from the college to earn an NIH research fellowship aimed at promoting diversity in health-related research. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Calderon. Our second Harrison College of Pharmacy faculty member is Dr. Leah Island, who holds the Hillcrest Endowed Professorship in the Department of Pharmacy Practice. As the Associate Department Head, Dr. Island is also a Clinical Professor of Pediatrics with the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Medicine. For 21 years, she has worked to advance pharmacy practice within the college modeling patient care and publishing academic research to improve pediatric patients' health outcomes while also educating students and practicing pharmacists on how to best care for the pediatric population. Teaching courses in pediatrics, drugs in pregnancy and lactation, and infectious diseases, Dr. Island's scholarly record includes publications on pediatric pharmacotherapy and the scholarship of teaching and learning. This past year, she was honored by two national pharmacy organizations for service to her profession, including the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacies, Pediatric Pharmacy Special Interest Groups, Excellence in Teaching in Pediatric Pharmacy Award. This national teaching award recognizes an individual for teaching innovation that supports the advancement of pediatric pharmacy for pharmacy students. She was also elected to serve a three-year term on the Pediatric Pharmacy Association's Board of Directors. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Island. <laughs> Our final two faculty honorees are from the College of Sciences and Mathematics. Would Dean Thomas join President Roberts? The William P. Millette Endowed Professorship in the College of Sciences and Mathematics was developed to honor and support COSAM faculty 
who have demonstrated a strong commitment to students and the provision of high quality instruction, research, and service. This year's recipient is Dr. Jeff Hill from the Department of Biological Sciences. As a faculty member at Auburn for 31 years, Dr. Hill is an accomplished researcher and admired scholar in ornithological science as one of the most active and influential behavioral ecologists and evolutionary biologists in the world, Dr. Hill has built an impressive research record focused on the study of birds, investigating the function and evolution of animal ornamentation. His scholarly advancements include several landmark papers extending Darwin's ideas on sexual selection, and his current research focuses on co-adaptation and co-evolution of mitonuclear elements with the Eucaricos. His commitment to engaging students in his research is evidenced by his active lab, including the Mitomobile, which allows researchers from collaborating disciplines to travel the country studying bioenergetics without being tied to their on-campus labs. With the Mitomobile, Dr. Hill and his team hope to change the way we think, learn, and work to improve the human condition through basic cellular science. Congratulations, Dr. Hill. Our final COSAM faculty member is Dr. Junshan Lin, who holds the C. Harry Knowles Endowed Professorship. Named for renowned physicist, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and inventor Harry Knowles, a 1951 Auburn graduate who held some 400 patents during his life, the endowment supports a superior faculty member who strengthens and enhances the program of sciences and mathematics through their work and serves as a role model to colleagues and students. A faculty member for more than 10 years in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics, Dr. Lin's focus areas include applied mathematics research and training experiences for students to enhance their preparedness for the workforce. A key aspect of his work includes engaging Auburn students in impactful outreach and cultivating professional development opportunities. Earlier, earlier this year, Dr. Lin received funding from the NSF Conference Board of the Mathematical Sciences for his students to attend a five-day conference on mathematical methods and novel metamaterials. The conference aims to educate students and early career researchers on cutting-edge developments in the mathematical aspects of material sciences and chart future directions in this research field. In addition, his undergraduate student researcher, Jacob Pennington, received the 2023 Auburn University Undergraduate Research Fellowship. Jacob delivered a lecture on mathematics behind the CT scan to 11th and 12th grade students during the college's recent Summer Science Institute as part of his funding, which illustrates Dr. Lin's commitment to training the next generation of researchers and teachers in applied mathematics at both the college and high school levels. Dr. Lin also received promotion to professor this year. Congratulations, Dr. Lin. And congratulations to all of our recipients. I now ask Provost Nathan to offer our closing remarks. Good evening. Congratulations to all the faculty members who were recognized this evening. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Kudos to all of you, our incredible faculty who deliver our, mis our mission through exceptional instruction and impactful research and scholarship. You are the bedrock of Auburn University. Although our donors could not join us today, I extend our gratitude to our donors and supporters who invested in recognizing and rewarding our faculty. I also extend my thanks to Trustee Dumas, President Roberts, and my Dean colleagues for participating in this program. Rick Smith, your outstanding work in the classroom, in the announcer's booth, and on the stage is a shining example of all that is wonderful about Auburn University 
Thank you for emceeing this event. And many thanks to my colleagues in the provost's office who help uh, manage this award process and stage this lovely event. I want to have a special shout out to three colleagues, Tracy Newell, Julie Huff, and Stacy Sakowski for their yeoman work on this program. And And before we conclude, I just wanted to remind our awardees, please remain on stage. We would like to take a few photographs with all of you as a group. And with that, uh, we conclude our program this evening. Have a good night and war eagle. <laughs>